speakers and guests. My name is Master Speaker Sarah, and today I'm playing the role of Sergeant at Arms for today's meeting. So, do you know what is the value of me for you in Master Speakers Club? So, me for you international gives positive and supportive environment to improve your public speaking and leadership skills. So, do you know what is the word of the day in today's meeting? The word of the day in today's meeting is pelusive. Means easily understood. For example, he speaks in a pelusive way. Next, he dry he he understand understood as the thing in a pelusive way. So then, let's come to do you know which is my job? My job is I will set the ground rules which you have to follow in this meeting. So rule number one. Kindly keep your kindly keep yourself mute when you are not speaking. Rule number two: Kindly keep your camera on. That shows your attentiveness in the meeting and shows you are respecting with the other mass speakers and guests. Then rule number three: Avoid speaking things which are hurt others, such as politics and other religions. So, do you know who the president of this club? The president of this club is a very good person, a motivational speaker, an entrepreneur, who motivates me to speak in a better way in English and also learns me in a pencil way, so for easily understood. So our president of this club is past speaker Mitra Sir. Over to you, sir. Thank you very much, Master Speaker Sairaj Mohanty, for the pellucid explanation of your role. Good evening, Master Speakers and guests. My name is Muturaj, and today I am the presiding officer, the president of this meeting. And today's role is, today's meeting theme is 10x rule. What is the meaning of 10x rule? 10x means 10 times. 10 times. Anything you do, think 10 times bigger than that what it is. Hence, there are, there are many students in this room right now. Hence, I would like to come up with the most basic thing to make you understand. Do you know this? Can you see this? Is it clear? So this is my nephew who she scored her marks. This is the mascot of my nephew. She scored about 598 marks out of 600. Can you see this? It is the, today the PUC percentage, PUC result was there. She scored about 598 out of 600. What is what we all get to see from this? This is very simple and a pellucid message to say that think bigger, aim higher than the common aims that what you have, common goals you have. Dear friends, if you aim to score about 80%, your efforts will remain only for 80%. If you aim to score 90%, it is 90%. And don't even think that to have the, or secure the first rank. So in some school, the one who scores about 80% also can be a first rank student in some schools. And in some schools, the one who scores 98 also can be second or third rank student. Yes. What I understood from this is aiming high can help you to work harder, smarter, and it is a pellucid message for all of us to think bigger. Today, I also came across one college, which is there in Mangalore the expert college. The college for PUC 1 and PUC 2, only for PUC 1 and PUC 2, has got about 2,200 students only for PUC 1 and PUC 2. It is just a PUC college, PUC, pre-university college. I was surprised. Dear friends, is it possible to even be that when I went to a school recently from 1st standard to 10th standard, all together, there were a thousand students. All together, first standard to 10th standard students. Now, the college has only for PUC 1 and PUC 
QC2, about 2,200 students. The focus is Pellucid. They have a Pellucid focus. They are purely for it not to deviate their focus to take up. And if I if they come up with a degree college or a school, definitely it is not going to be a Pellucid goal. They will not have a Pellucid thought in their mind to serve better. Dear friends, what we need to understand from this is if you are aiming higher, you are going to get or put better efforts in everything that what you do. This, with this, I would like to welcome you all to the beautiful meeting of this me for you Master Speakers Club with the theme 10x rule. Every Master Speakers Club meeting has the Master of Ceremony. Master of Ceremony is someone who takes the meeting from beginning to end. And she or he is called the director of the show. Today's director of the show is a person who has recently joined the Master of Ceremony and actively participating in all the roles that she takes. She is also a student of uh, me for you international in the spoken english class she is an active student of the class help me in the welcoming today's master of ceremony master speaker misha Mehta. hello everybody good evening my name is misha mehta and today i have been given the opportunity of the master of ceremony of this wonderful event the meeting is divided into three different and very interesting segments which are prepared speech, table topic and the feedback session. The feedback will be conducted by a person who is known as the meeting evaluator. Thank you meeting evaluator and team. Wait, wait, now, wait, wait, wait. So you have to give me, you have to give me the podium. Well, dear friends, I am here back as the meeting evaluator and meeting evaluator. My role is to evaluate entire meeting from A to Z. What is my role? I need to give a feedback on how each role player performed. Well, role players have, we have different role players in the meeting today and their duty is to focus on their particular given assignment and give the feedback. Feedback today, as I was just mentioning before, getting result in college is a kind of feedback that you get for the work what you have done. You studied PUC first year for the whole year and you wrote exam and you got your results. That's the feedback that you got. And here in me for your master speakers club, quickly right after your performance, you are going, you get your feedback here. And I cannot do this all alone. I have a team who can help me to perform better and can add better feedback. So the first role player in my team is the timing master. Timing master is none other than master speaker Sairaj Mohanty. Over to you, Sairaj Mohanty. So thank you, master speaker Mithra sir, for calling me to the stage. So greetings for the master speakers and guests. My name is master speaker Sairaj and today, I have been given the opportunity to be the timing master for this wonderful event. So I also like to play the role of timing master in the before you our speakers club. So I will say the timings which you have to follow, follow and I also tell, say the timings in a pencil way for everyone to understand. So then let's start start. So for speaking, for prepared speech, you will have four to six minutes. And four minutes, I will show the green card. And for five minutes, I will show the red card. And for six minutes, I will show the, I will show the yellow card. So then, for then for timing master, you will have you will have two to one to two minutes. In one minute, I will show the green card. 
in one minute thirty seconds, I will show the red card, yellow card, and at two minutes, I will show the red card. And for evaluation, you will have two to three minutes. In two two minutes, I will show the green card. In two minutes thirty sec. In two minutes thirty second, I will show the yellow card. And in three minutes, I will show the red card. And for jokes master and puzzle master have two one to two minutes. And at so I will get I will get back the I will give the podium back to our ever enthusiastic master speaker, master speaker Mitra sir. Over to you. Thank you very much, master speaker Saraj Mohanty. For the explaining the role of timing master, dear friends. Now the next role player is the newest member of our club. This is her first meeting as the master speaker. Help me in welcoming the newest member of our club for the filler counter master speaker, Purvi Vani. Thank you, master speaker Muturat sir. Greetings, master speakers and guests. My name is Master Speaker Purvi, and today I am playing the role of a filler counter for today's meeting. In speech, filler words are short or meaningless words or sounds that we use to fill the small pauses that occur while we decide what we are going to say next. They are hmm, so that, but, a, uh, etc. I will also take account of unnecessary repeated words. I will give my report when I will be asked. Thank you, sir. That was the pellucid, crisp, and clear explanation of the role. Fantastic, dear friends. This is how we should be very, very clear about our our role and what we are doing. Master Speakers Club is all about preparation. The finer you prepare, the better you perform, and the more pellucid performance that you can deliver. While the next role player is wearing multiple hats. That means she is doing the double roles. She is also a jokes master and listening master too. Help me in welcoming another active master speaker of the club, master speaker Radhika, to explain her listening master role. Greetings, fellow master speakers Hello, and guests. Hello. My name is master speaker Radhika, and I am playing the role of listening master. It is my responsibility to listen the uh, to listen the all speakers carefully and note down some important points, dates of some events used by any master speaker during the meeting. I request all the members to listen the entire meeting carefully so that you can answer to my questions quickly. Over to you, meeting evaluator. Thank you very much, master speaker Radhika, for the pellucid explanation of your role. Well. Today's grammar master is not there. Let me take an opportunity to get into this. I am also here to play the quick role of the grammar master. Grammar master role is to focus on the good usages or and not so good usage of the English language used by the speakers. And today's word of the day is pellucid. Pellucid, that as our sergeant arms told, explaining something in a clear way, anything which is very clear. Use the word of the day as frequently as possible. Whenever the word of the day is used, we snap our fingers like this to promote or to motivate the speakers to use the word of the day as frequently as possible. Well, with this, I'd like to give the podium back to the master of ceremony, master speaker, Misha Mehta. Thank you, meeting evaluator and team. Now, without any delay, let's start with the first segment which is prepared speech where members will be delivering their own prepared speech according to their objectives so today's public uh, so today's prepared speaker is the one who loves playing basketball and badminton who even loves reading books and his favorite color is blue help me in welcoming Athar J Patel Good evening, master speakers and guests. My name is Athar Vajay Patel, and today I'm in space. Ooh, nice stars. 
Now, you must be wondering, how did I reach here? Here, I reached by SpaceX, a famous company called SpaceX. Do you know who is the owner of SpaceX? Anyone? Yes. Yes. Right, it's Elon Musk. He is also called as the space man because he launched many things like after so many difficulties. Now let me tell you a short story about him. He was born in America. Then he studied, he went to school. He got bullied by many people and that's a wrong thing to do. You shouldn't also do. So Elon Musk got bullied. His parents were had divorced and his mother moved to America, North America, and his father moved to South Africa, where he grew up. Elon Musk had also started his own game called Blaster. It was the first game in, invented in history. By this achievement, he earned $1.00. Hundred thousand. Ah, he was shocked. He then slowly started to invent companies like first one PayPal. PayPal was an easy system to pay and to receive payments. Then he invented eBay, one of the famous Google. But now Google has come up. So eBay was also one type of the second Google, which was helping people in searching many things. In 19th, it was the famous company. Then by this, he earned $180 billion. Then he slowly moved to SpaceX. SpaceX also had many difficulties, like the Russians were not giving the rockets to Elon Musk, and he himself created many rockets. And he also managed to land the rocket safely. Oof, he could use it so beautifully. Then the next thing was that the difficulties he faced. Four rockets done just while launching, they just blasted off because of the weight. But the fifth one launched out quickly, entered in space and reached Mars. And do you know one famous achievement done by him? That he also drove Tesla on Mars. Isn't it amazing? Yes. Imagine you are driving a car, car on Mars and your car just tries to float. It will be so fun. And also, he also carried astronauts in space. Everyone was shocked. By this, NASA gifted him 200 billion dollars and now recently day after yesterday or uh, some other day he purchased a famous company called twitter it's amazing oh an asteroid is coming i have to go back bye <laughs>